75 degrees on November 15th, 14th, November 14th. We have just been doing chores all day. We got Derek coming back in town for a few days. So we're just changing batteries, some cells, moving some stands around for this next little cold snap in a couple days. I feel like every time I start an intro, I'm like, new plan, we're somewhere new. It's November 15th, we took a day off yesterday. Obviously we hung those cameras for Derek. Derek's hunting this morning. But I got in contact with this guy back last spring and uh, came out to his place and uh, kind of walked it for sheds or whatever. And in my moments of disparity, I reached back out to him. I was like, hey, like, How's, you know, any way I could come hunt just for a couple days. He's a super good guy, and he's always been a big time hunter. Um, but he really hasn't been hunting the last few years, so his property's been super untouched. And he's like, you know what? He's like, come on out and uh, give it a run. And uh, I love coming to a new piece and just it's untouched. No one's been hunting, and we're just hanging out. We have no intel. There's been no cameras, no nothing. You know, like I've been saying these last couple episodes in the trend, it's like we've been beep hopping around and just kind of squirrel, pretty sure. We've been beep hopping around and just trying to let's get lucky. But I think uh, I think this is going to be a good good spot. Looks phenomenal. A lot of it's overgrown. Like I said, it's, the property's been pretty untouched. So well, at least give it a go. To this morning, maybe put a camera or two, and for the remainder of November, keep it in our back pocket if we if we get something showing up. Or, a while here again. Yeah, he's looking right at the trail. That's November 15th afternoon. It's uh it's pretty late. We got in the stand late here. And uh, we've been doing chores all day long. And just time just got caught up with us, but we're out here. We, we bumped a couple deer in the field, but actually not too bad. I'm in a t-shirt and jeans because it is 75 degrees right now. November 17th, we are doing another hanging hunt. And we dove right into the bedding area. We had sat in a tree we call the rattling tree, man, maybe a week and a half ago, maybe more. And we saw a ton of deer up in here. So we just bombed in here, got a decent tree. And I don't think we're too far off from where we want to be. So we're going to hang tight in here all morning. Rattle. Grunt. Glass. Hopefully shoot a big buck. That's the plan. We're definitely due for one.
it's eight o'clock and we just had eight does come by. But as soon as it started getting light, I was really nervous about this set because the biggest trail were literally on top of, which is always the problem when you're hanging in the dark. So we're gonna see how fast we can get down and get back up in a tree just off the trail, 15 yards more, but I just don't think we're gonna be able to kill one on top of it like this. They say nine o'clock is the magic hour. It's 9.20, we've been here up in the stand probably 20 minutes, so it took us 40 minutes to get down, get up. And I was about three quarters of the way up. And one of the deer that were, we know of, that were in here after, literally ran a doe right under the stand. We were just in 40 yards away. And he just pushed a doe right by us, kind of did a U-turn, just kept going. I was nervous about that stand being right on top of the trail like it was, and now we're 20 yards off and just kind of we're set up better here, but that deer would have been dead right now if we stayed. It's part of the deal, I guess. November 18th spot um i haven't sat here yet but i've been sitting like last night we sat about 200 yards across this creek but we got a southwest so we we dove in here this is the bedding area this side of the farm so this is the time of year now i mean i feel like anytime after november 15th they are just like zombie mode running around so you can get away with a lot of stuff now so i don't mind getting in getting in tight like this. Just had an incredible encounter, probably my top five craziest whitetail moments. The really big deer, we believe, is only four, so he's a no shooter, which is incredible. He's a large deer, and I snort at him because I wanted to get a better look at him because I've never seen him in person. And he came right in, and while I did that, the nine that I passed, which I will not pass anymore because we've confirmed that he's old enough. They came around, and then they saw each other, and they started squaring up all right underneath us. And I just, the nine was uphill a little bit, and I couldn't button book. I couldn't, there was no way to shoot him, so. But if he swings back by, and I think I'm going to rattle here, and I think they're just 100, 200 yards up this ridge. I have a feeling it might come unglued if I rattle, so I'm going to do that.
11 o'clock. We're gonna pack up. The wind switches from like a southwest to a northwest and it's starting to switch, so I'm gonna get out of here. Really good, I mean, really good hunt this morning. Just needed our, that nine to work right or any other mature deer. Afternoon, the 19th, we are back in a fresh permission place that we got. I'm just sitting back in the same tree we were the other morning um, because we haven't sat out on this side of the farm in the afternoon yet. You, we can see a bunch of this kind of overgrown CRP and there's a lot of clover in here. Um, so a good chance that just deer are gonna come out and feed. We did get that. Um, we have a pretty good deer on camera. I have I just quickly put three tacticams out and he's been on two of them. One of them's just right up here, so he was here this morning, of course. So, maybe we'll see him tonight. Maybe we'll get like a better idea of what he's doing. We're in a big oak tree. It took a second to get up in here. The other night when Riley and I sat, we sat just about 20 yards over this creek. But now the wind's slightly different, and we saw three or four bucks just wrap around this little ridge right here. It's actually this old two track that runs right here, too. I think the big boy, we don't have a name for him yet, but the 6x4 is living either on this ridge or this ridge. And this morning where we were sitting, down this way and into the fields. So I think he's living here, heading out there. So, I don't know, sit tight, I'm kind of excited. It's a good set. I could see putting a, you know, we're just kind of hanging around this, this piece, because I mean, this is only the fourth day we've ever hunted it. It's fun getting to know new pieces, and we've been doing it a lot this year. <laughs> 